Hello everyone. Welcome to the multi-threading programming course. In this video, we will discuss how we can protect our shared resource from concurrent access in multi-threading using the locking mechanism. So, first of all, like what is the meaning of the shared resource? So, shared resource is a like kind of a, it can be a variable or either it can be a method. So, generally, we protect the method by using the thread class now for an example in a class if we are having a public variable and that public variable or we can say that particular shared resource we are using into the multiple threading classes method so how we can protect that particular shared resource from the concurrent access so basically if we have a shared resource and multiple thread want to access that particular shared resource then we need to protect that particular shared resource from the concurrent access otherwise what will happen we will get the inconsistent output so how we can protect that so that we can protect either using the lock and the monitor to provide the thread safety in multi-threading application basically these both lock and monitor provide a mechanism which ensure us that only one thread is executing the critical uh, this particular section of the code at the given point of the time and it is uh, like it is used to avoid any functional breaking of the code so in this uh, video we will discuss about the locking mechanism to protect our shared resource so let's understand first of all like what is the issue so let's go to the visual studio and here what i am going to do first i am going to take a one variable and that is like public static int and sum and this i have defined as a zero now next here i am going to take a one very one function and that is like public static since we have to use this function in the main method that's why we are creating is a static method and addition so this method i'm giving as addition and inside this one what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create a one for loop and this for loop is basically like i'm doing with the i is starting from one and here i'm saying like it should add till fifty thousand. and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this sub so let's write it sum plus plus so this I'm going to do and here I'm going to make it as a void. So here I created a one method. Now we will access this method using the thread. So currently like we can see it is a single thread. Now let's create a three threads. So T1 equal to new thread. And in this one we are going to call this particular addition now similar to this one what we will do the same method we will call three times so let's and these three times we will call with using the different different thread now let's start these threads so here two and three so so far what we have done is basically let's make it as a t2 so what we have done we have created it uh, like child threads and all these child threads are accessing the same method and here this is the shared resource means like this particular variable is going to access by all these threads by using the addition method now what i am going to do i am going to use the join method so what is the basically join method it will wait uh, like it will allow us to wait the main thread or like the main method thread to execute first all the child thread then it will print the output so here what i am going to do t2 dot join and similar i am going to do t3 dot join and after this one i am going to print console dot right line and inside this one i will print total sum is and here i am going to do sum so basically what i have done first i created a method 
and here we are doing some plus plus and this one we have taken a static variable here and this is basically shared resource because this variable is going to be shared among all these threads and here we have started the thread start and then we have used the join so as we have seen in the previous video the use of the join method for the thread is like they it this join method allow us to wait the main thread until these child thread complete their uh, process of the execution of the full code now let's run this application so when i will run this application let's see what is the output of the sum so we can see now currently it is showing as a 54 around output now second time if i will run this application so let's see what we see so now we are looking the 65 now if i will run again so it will like now currently it is giving 58 so we can see like every time it is giving the different different output and we can see it is giving the inconsistent output to us and the reason is because all these thread is using the non uh, thread variable or we can say the shared resource as a sum it is using and as per their thread is going on like it is giving the different output so now let's understand how we can basically protect this shared resource from this so for uh, this one like we have a like first we will understand it using the like uh, this in interlocked increment so for doing that one first like what we have to do we have to make some changes in the addition so now instead of this sum what we have to write here interlocked dot since we are doing a increment and here you can see it have so many method like increment compare exchange exchange add so these all are the method it is having so currently we are doing the increment so we have to use it now this method accept the reference variable here you can see it use the reference and the location like the basically variable name and it has like so many overloaded method related to the like what is the number it's basically accept all the numbers so here we have to use the ref and the sum so now after doing those changes so let's make this small as to capital s now let's save it and run this application so at point of this time like we have protect this shared resource using the enter logged increment and now we can see the output is 14,000 uh, like around this now second time if I will run this application we will get the same output and we can see it the output is the same now how many times you run this application you will get the same output so this is the way we can protect our shared resource now there is another like scenario we can do the same and that is like using the lock method so for that one first what we have to do we have to take a one local variable so let's create that local variable public and that is the object type we have to take so now here i will take this object as a log equal to new object so this thing first i have done now since we have the static method so we have to use the static object now next thing what we have to do here we have to check like this log and inside this one we have to give this log variable and here we will do the sum plus plus so now if you will run this application so basically what this lock method do this lock method is basically lock the current thread until the execution is complete like at a time one thread can go inside this one and it will wait another thread until the previous thread doesn't complete the operation so we can see now the output is same now how many time you run this application you will get the same output and we can see here now the question is like which is option is better either we use this interlock dot increment or this sum method so basically um, for proving that one let's create a one scenario and now currently since we are using the this lock mechanism so what i'm going to do here i'm going to take a one stopwatch so let's do that
so here i'm going to create an object of the stopwatch and i'm going to take it as a object i watch equal to stopwatch dot and here i'm going to use the start new and since this is a method so we have to use it as a method now here what i'm going to do after we get the sum i'm going to watch dot stop and after this one let's print console dot right line total tick time is and what i am going to print is watch dot elapsed ticks now let's run this application so once i will run this application let's so we can see it is taking around 95000 ticks now next time if i will run this one so we will get around like see currently we are looking it's um, like more than uh, one lakh so these are the ticks we are um, getting now same scenario if we will comment this line and implement it using the enter locked so now if i will run th this one using the enter lock we will get very less time so now you can see it is very less than previous now if second time i will run this so we we can see it is taking very less than the before so for a performance perspective using internal uh, locked class is better than using the locking class so locking uh, lock out all the other thread except a single thread to read and increment the total like this sum basically this will ensure us like this sum variable is updated safely the uh, basically the use of this one is to like the performance like if we are using the internal lock uh, class it give us the better performance over this one but the thing is internal lock class can be used only for like if we are going to do something uh, increment or adding or mm, like reading the variable so for such kind of the things we use the increment uh, this interlock class so that uh, like this is the way we can protect our shared variable um, using the interlock class or the this lock class so now like in the next video we will discuss how we can protect the shared resource using the monitor method so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you